Hi, this is uh, Armin Wiggins, airlayers.com, and uh, it's late February here in Hawaii, and a lot of things are flowering, and one of the things that's flowering for us is mangoes. Uh, you know, we're out of the zone here for mangoes because our annual rainfall is over 100 inches, and uh, mangoes really like it drier than that. Uh, we can grow the tree fine, um, no problem there, but uh, if we have a rain, uh, when the flowers are out like this, they'll turn black uh, with anthracnose uh, fungus and fall off, and that will be the end of our mango crop for the year. Uh, we had about six one hundredths of an inch last night, and it uh, looks like maybe that wasn't enough to really trigger the anthracnose. I hope that's the case. Um, this is a keep mango here, and this is an excellent mango. It produces over a two pound fruit, most, and can be much bigger than that in some cases. Uh, excellent flavor. Um, really a great mango. Um, anyway, and one of the ways that we uh, deal with the mangoes too is that we will spray uh, potassium nitrate on them, so usually two applications, and it really encourages the flowering. We really get a good flowering out of that on most of our trees. Not all of them, it's, it's somewhat variable, it's not foolproof. But um, it really increases our mango production. To do Just that. a quick note about, um, as you know, we did a, gra a video on uh, grafting mangoes earlier, and I just wanted to show an example. This is a mango tree. This is the keep mango that I was just talking about, and this is the graft union about five years later. And um, with mangoes, you can u you'll usually see the, be able to see the graft union throughout their whole life. Um, with some other things, sometimes with avocados and things like that, it can be hard to discern. But with mangoes, it's almost always quite obvious. And, uh, you know, if you don't see this, probably it's not a grafted mango um, in most cases.